for the competition, they all line up in front of the school bus. And the strong men have to push the school bus 100 yards. And the winner is the person who can do it in the shortest duration of time, right? So they all line up and the gun goes off. For about three seconds, nothing happens. No movement. And then the bus tires slowly start to roll. They take one step forward, two step forward, and eventually it gets to the point where the bus gets some momentum. Now, the strong man who won the race gets interviewed. Reporter comes up to him. And they say, hey, what was your mindset? You know, what were you doing differently that allowed you to place first in the race? And he says, I just had to get the bus moving. That's probably one of the biggest problems you're having right now is you're scared to start, or maybe there's a lot of resistance there. And it's a good thing too, that there's resistance there. Let me explain. There's a lot of resistance towards the work you know you should be doing, whether it's running, training, doing outreach for your business, Whatever it is, fill in the blank. Chances are 90% of people aren't willing to do it. And when you overcome that resistance, you start to get the bus rolling. Here's a sad truth. There's no such thing as staying in place. You're either going backwards or forwards. Now, depending how bad or how good your habits are determines that. But momentum is your greatest enemy or your strongest ally. Speaking from experience, when it's your greatest enemy, the resistance is it's even stronger. It's harder. It's more difficult. That's why most people just stay where they are. They're so used to it. You know, it's become a way of life. You know, for most of you guys watching this, all you are right now is potential. I care what you say. That's all you are is potential. 90% of people aren't really aware Or maybe they bury that feeling of potential. They go with the flow, status quo, you know, just be mediocre. And that's all right, because that's what they want. But for the people who watch these, chances are that's not the case. You're in that 10% that knows they're capable of more that knows they can do something big. They've always had that, it's like that weird feeling in their gut. And here's something to help you out. Getting through that resistance in life, on the other side of that is a person that you have not met yet. Person who's stronger, more confident, better, more charismatic, more resilient. All the above. 90% of people will never meet that other version, that superior version of themselves because they're too scared, because the resistance is too strong. And the truth of that is nothing changes if nothing changes. You know, in the community, we help teach uh, some skills, right? It's not going to help you if you're not willing to put the work in. And that's the ugly truth. You can learn everything there is to know in this world. 
But unless you act and unless you're willing to fail, it doesn't matter. Goes back to a quote I heard one time. A focused fool can accomplish far greater than a distracted genius. And you know for a fact, you've seen those people, dude, who they just really don't seem to be very smart. Yet they crush it in business. The reason being is these people just really don't think. They just go. They learn from the experiences. And that's one of the best teachers in the world is practical knowledge based through experience. One of the biggest pieces of advice I could ever tell my younger self is the timing's never going to feel perfect. The stars are never going to align. That aha moment where it just makes complete and utter sense to begin doesn't come for 99% of people. It's never going to feel that way. There's always going to be that ounce of uncertainty and doubt that are present. And that's why not everyone does it. Not everyone chases it. Part of it is just realizing its presence, the doubt, the fear, the uncertainty, and just still rolling with it, just powering through it. Because I can tell you, time in beats timing. That's the truth. How many people do you know right now in life that are still waiting? They're waiting for the opportunity. All this stuff. They've been waiting for years, dude. Maybe even decades. And that goes back to one of the hardest lessons I've had to learn in my life. Is my biggest regrets do not come from something I did. They don't come from that. They come from the things I didn't do. Regrets of omission. Of not doing anything. Just being on standby. And I know you thought of something in your life during this video. Something you've been hesitating on. You can get the bus rolling today. You can. You could start today. It doesn't have to be some crazy thing, but you can start today. You can get that bus rolling, get some momentum towards where you want to be. And I know right now you probably thought of two or three excuses as to why it doesn't make a ton of sense, why the timing's not right. They're always going to be there. As the times change, so will the excuses. Maybe later on it will be because work, because family, because money, whatever it is, fill in the blank. I'm going to tell you something that you already know. When you start doing something you love for an extended period of time, what's your biggest regret? that you didn't start sooner. So just prevent it. Just start now. Get the bus rolling. Get momentum. Stop being stagnant. And that's what I tell my former self. Is I wish I started sooner. So like I was saying earlier, down in the description, will be the link to the free community. If you're looking to improve, you want to get in better shape, you want to make more money, it's for you. If you're just in this entrepreneur phase, you just dream without the work, it's not. Also in the program, there's one-on-one -on -one mentorships with our coaches. And that's a paid feature. So depending how serious you are, it could be for you. But stay focused. 
stay on your commitments and get the bus rolling. And I'll see you in the next one.